Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dr. Scott with FullBodyFix.com. Hey, we need to talk about nerve entrapments. Please watch my previous video on soft tissue adhesions and relative motion. It'll make a lot more sense when I talk about nerve entrapments today. I don't know why so many providers either miss or don't know about peripheral nerve entrapments, but honestly, I just have so many people coming in with misdiagnosis um, of pain syndrome, especially in the upper extremity, but also in the lower extremity, of uh, pain and burning, which is obviously a nerve type symptom. And they've been told uh, the only thing they, they can do is rest and get a cortisone shot. And that's absolutely uh, bull. <laughs> so let's talk about nerve entrapments. Specifically, let's talk about the upper extremity. So. The most common kind of garbage can term that gets thrown around a lot is carpal tunnel syndrome. You can watch a previous video of mine on my median nerve floss, and that'll actually help kind of tie this together. But basically, the nerves in your arm start from the neck, they branch off and have to pierce through a lot of different structures and tissue all the way down to the hand. Uh, there's three kind of main nerves in the arm, the median nerve, which sort of see in this distribution. The ulnar nerve, which you see sort of off the pinky and down the medial elbow. And then also the radial nerve, which kind of wraps around the back of the arm to the back of the hand and finger and wrist. So what you want to do is if you have pain, burning, uh, shooting kind of pain in your arm, is get to a qualified provider, somebody like uh, myself who does active release technique or integrative diagnosis that know about peripheral nerve entrapments that can do some specific testing, some nerve tension testing, some palpatory testing to try to isolate those uh, nerve entrapments and break up the soft tissue adhesions around the nerves. So specifically, let's talk about that median nerve. Uh, one of the most common sites of car uh, median nerve entrapment that can cause carpal tunnel type symptoms is in a muscle called the pronator teres, which is in your forearm. The nerve has to come down through and slide in between basically the two parts of this muscle called pronator teres. And when the pronator teres gets an adhesion, kind of like glue, wrapping around that nerve, then it can cause pain and tingling and burning in uh, distal to that entrapment or further down the track from that entrapment. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is not to put cortisone in your hand or wrist, or go in and, and cut open and try to elongate the space in your carpal tunnel, the solution is to break up the nerve entrapment in and around that site, break up the soft tissue adhesion around that nerve that's causing the entrapment, thereby relieving the symptoms. It's really not rocket science, but for some reason, people just haven't taken the time to learn these techniques uh, and be able to accurately diagnose and treat these um, symptoms and issues. And the truth is, these clear up really fast when you know what you're doing. I see improvement in these in as, as soon as three to five visits usually, uh, as long as we can isolate where that problem is coming from. So that's kind of my spiel for the day on peripheral nerve entrapments and soft tissue adhesions. For more information, you can check obviously some of the videos I've already mentioned in my feed. You can also go to activerelease.com to find a provider in your area that knows how to uh, find and, and treat these. Integrativediagnosis.com, those providers also know what they're doing. I hope that's been helpful. It's been Dr. Scott with the Full Body Fix. We'll see you next time.